What's up guys this is Hardik here and today with me right now I'm having a Nexus 7 which is a 2012 model and as you guys know the last Android version Google officially supported this device was Android 5.1 Lollipop so since then uh, there have been a plenty of ROM based on Marshmallow based on Nougat so today I'm having a Nougat ROM on this device which is called Lineage OS so I'll just quickly go into the settings and about tablet and as you can see it is running on lineage os and the android version here is 7.1.2 so there you can see it's nougat so today i'll be showing you all the new features the performance and even how to flash it on your nexus 7 uh, the nexus 7 i'm having here right now is the wi-fi only model but you can also get it for the cellular as well so i'll be linking all the rom files and the g apps in the description below so make sure to check it out as well so without any further ado let's get started so first off what i'm gonna do is i'll just run you all over through all the features that this rom supports and then i'll be showing you at the end how to flash it on your nexus 7 so the thing here as you can see i'm having or i'm running is the nova launcher prime so if you want to see a video on this on how to make this i also have it on my nexus 5x so i'll just quickly show you there we go so if you want to know how to do that uh, let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a video on it as soon as possible so yeah just quickly jumping into settings we'll see what all we get here so in the settings first we get all the uh, extra wireless and networks so we do have nfc and stuff then going down into display so in the display as you can see we have adaptive brightness so if you want that you can turn it on or off uh, we have live display i my personally i turn it off because the colors sometimes get a little bit weird uh, so yeah, i do turn it off then going down we have rotation sleep uh, wake up unplug expanded desktop if you want that and display size so in display size you could mess around like you could make it smaller or you could make it bigger if you think it's small enough so that's really neat it's like an exclusive feature on the nougat itself so you won't find it in marshmallow i think so going down we have notifications sounds apps storage again this is a 16 gig model so this here is the storage available then going back to battery battery life on this device was pretty good i mean it's not that good but as compared to the lollipop that was running on stock it's much better i feel that after flashing this rom the one thing that has improved is the standby time so as you can see the time idle it's been like i don't pretty much use this device uh but when i do i just like use it for amazon prime video and stuff like that so as you can see not much anyways or amazon kindle or something like that but other than that i personally don't use this device as a lot so battery life for me i have not like completely tested it yet but for me it's like pretty much hit or miss so yeah there we go anyways this is a 2012 model how many people like personally use this as the daily drivers like pretty much few uh, so yeah battery life like doesn't matter for me then we have memory so again this is like the uh, available ram and stuff like that so if you uh, this device again comes with one gigs of ram so the available ram and the apps using memory are shown here over here then we do have gestures uh again i don't use it jump to camera is the one i use uh because we can just double tap on the power button and we can jump to camera also this rom supports a camera so here you go uh, but again we don't have the rear facing camera over here so we only have the front facing camera but in this talk lollipop 5.1 we did not get the option of camera so there was no google camera but this rom provides us a google camera as well again double tap to sleep here if you want that so again going back we have buttons so you could customize the buttons as per our wish uh let's see we can also customize the power menu so if you just hit that as you can see uh, like what all features you want or what all options you want in the power menu you could enable or disable it from here so i personally don't like airplane mode so yeah i just disable it so pretty much it's power off and restart so also there's an option to advance reboot so that comes under restart as well 
then we have volume buttons so again volume up volume down and other stuff like that then going back again we have location security privacy status bar so again uh, all the lineage os roms have this so we do have support to customize the status bar itself so we could show notification counts also quick pull down is the feature i like so i did have the right pull down so if i just pull down from right i'll quickly get into notifications whereas if i pull down from left i'll get into notifications sorry the right pull down will show me my quick toggles as well so yeah uh, quick pull down is the thing i like then going down we have battery status style i personally prefer circle and then a battery icon but yeah you can select the icon portrait if you want the stock look but yeah for me it's circle then again going down we have brightness slider also we do have an auto brightness slider in the uh, quick toggles itself so as you can see we could uh, enable the auto brightness or disable that but i personally don't like having auto brightness over there so let's keep it on auto real quick and i disable the feature over here then again brightness control you could control by sliding it over the status bar itself nothing else then again going back we have backup and reset developer options and stuff like that so again advanced reboot as i said if we power if you press the power button if we press reboot we get options to go into soft recovery recovery bootloader and stuff like that so yeah this is present in each and every rom as for now so again going down we have root access i mean there's no super su but we do get root so we could either select apps only adb only or apps and adb but i suggest select the apps and adb if you want the complete access then again all the basic features in the developer options again going back into 7.1.2 which is the android version so there we go also the build date here is june the friday 9th so it's not like the oldest build so they are upgrading this uh tablet itself so it's not like left alone developers are still working on this and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it also the pre-installed apps we have our calendar clock and stuff like that so i did uninstall those and because like no one needs it in a tablet even if i do install i'll probably install the google ones from the play store but yeah that's been it also quickly jumping into camera let's check it out there we go as you can see we do have a front facing camera over here uh also video it's it's not that good but uh, it's it's all right it's all right like it's better than not getting any camera so we'll just quickly close our recents and now i'll be showing you to flash it or flash this rom or any rom on your nexus 7 so just quickly hit on the power button and hit power off or if you have a restart option restart into recovery but if you don't uh, make sure your device is powered off completely then select the uh, volume uh, down and power or press them at the same time so you'll be jumping into recovery itself and we'll just wait until it goes into the recovery also make sure that any recovery you have you're on the latest version of it so i'm having a twrp recovery and the latest one here is 3.1.10 for the nexus 7 or any device uh i'll just quick increase the brightness real quick so there we go so yeah once into the recovery again make sure you're on the latest version of it so just going to wipe first or if you want a complete backup of the rom itself just hit backup and swipe to backup because again if anything goes wrong <laughs> you may restore it but yeah going to wipe going to advanced wipe select the data cache system and dalvik art cache so again do not select the internal storage because that's where you have the rom file and stuff like that so swipe to wipe and once the wipe is done go into install scroll down until you see the lineage os 14.1 uh, of unofficial for grouper again the code name for this device the 2012 model is grouper so make sure you select that also the g apps i'd pre prefer flashing are the pico g apps because anytime i flash the nano g apps or mini g apps let's say I get an option that it's like too much for the device or something like the storage is way too much something like that error 70 is what i get uh, but yeah flash the rom and flash the g apps and once you're done just reboot into your system and if you want a twrp app again you could select that or do not install and then wait for the rom to 
boot up so while it's booting i'll quickly talk about the performance so the performance on this rom is way better than what we used to get on the lollipop itself uh, so it's much better than that but again the lollipop version was much stable i mean i do few times get force closures on this particular rom but this is not the only 7.1 rom for the device we do have the uh, resurrection remix rom itself so i may make a video on that as well but uh any time i flash that particular rom for some reason i am not able to flash the g apps every time i i've like tried thrice uh, but every time i flash the g apps i get the error so the rom file is like i'm able to flash the rom file but not able to flash the g apps for some weird reason i don't know why is that but if i am able to get it working i'll make a video on the resurrection rom as well so the device is now booted up again as you can see again swipe up to unlock and this is no volunteer so it gets or it takes some time to uh, load the icons and stuff like that so we'll just wait for that but again as i was talking battery life uh, was pretty mediocre the performance on this rom was good as compared to the lollipop itself again lollipop is like way too old for this device i mean yeah we probably must be expecting uh, android o rom for this device soon so developers in my opinion are on that as well but yeah as it's a nexus you'll be getting the developer support pretty much for like years and stuff so again that's been it guys uh thank you for watching this video let me know what all roms you want to see on the nexus 7 as well uh, there are plenty of them on xda so let me know that in the comment section below and yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video make sure to go crazy on the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed And I'll get you guys in my next one.